Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Pisces. This will be from the 14th to the 20th of March 2022 and it won't be for everybody. That's fine. Just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what we have for you in the cards. This is the Angel Answer Deck. We have Opportunity. <laughs> I mean, I always love that card because you can see that angel is open armed and she's receiving the gifts from above. So it does feel like some kind of something lovely is coming in. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams, Pisces. This week, a very well used Tarot of Dreams, one of my favorite decks. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Pisces for the week. Overarching energy first, thank you. Message for Pisces for the week. We have faith. Normally called the Hierophant, but in the Tarot of Dreams deck, it is called the Faith card. It is a card of Taurus which may resonate for you. With that, we have Hermit, the card of Virgo. That's in the challenge position. The Lovers, card of Gemini. I've got all major arcana so far. <laughs> we have, there we go, the Eight of Swords in the near future. The Star. The Magician. The Knight of Swords. And we have Temperance. So let's pull a card for the Faith card. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely pisces thank you for the week clarify the faith card thank you clarify the faith card thank you i've got judgment and we have the Four of Cups. It's interesting, Pisces, because if I mean these are these are big decision energies. But there is definitely an energy here of, of the universe is telling you that there's a real opportunity here. So there's there's a need to consider it. It's interesting with the faith card and the judgment card as the four of cups. It can be something being presented that needs deep evaluation and deep thought. Because I feel spirit is, is kind of indicating here with opportunity being here as well. It might well be something that you really do need to consider because you don't want to miss this opportunity. You don't want to regret you know any decision that you make right now so there's a there's a kind of feeling about think this this is it's it's somebody somebody being offered something and i feel this is in terms of love um it feels like a relationship thing i mean it could well be if there's you know it it feels like a relationship thing there's definitely an energy of, of give it some deep thought, deep consideration. I've got the Six of Swords at the bottom of this deck. I mean, I haven't looked on the previous readings at the bottom of the deck for the other water signs. But this is a card of healing. When I look, I put it down. This is a card of embracing healing and overcome issues, challenges, conflict. And coming through the other side of a situation and feeling optimistic again. So I feel that there's an opportunity to heal. Now we have 
with judgment, it, it can sometimes be choose wisely. There's a decision here, choose wisely, because you might not get another chance. It's that kind of energy of you have an opportunity to stay on a path that you that you are on in terms of a relationship and embrace healing or move in a different direction. But the judgment card can be final or it can have some kind of long-term fallout as a result of that. It does bring resolution to a situation here, Pisces, whatever decision that you make. Do I give this another chance or do I move in a different direction here? The question is, do I have faith? And and that's the energy that I'm getting. The Hierophant can be also a card of long-term committed relationships or marriage. But I, I feel in this energy this is an energy of choose wisely because there's a real it feels like you're being presented with a real opportunity um, and consider it wisely I think that's what you're being told this week we have the hermit going within finding answers reviewing what has led to this point and reflecting deeply on how to move forward how do i find answers it can be in association with healing as well can we heal this is there hope because again the star card in the challenge position is is question somebody's questioning if there's hope in a relationship the fact that the star card is appearing in the challenge position however is signaling if this was a general if this was a personal reading pisces i would be saying that the the spirit is telling you there is hope um but obviously the decision is yours the star card is a card of having faith but it is a card of blind faith because it does lead to blessings wish fulfillment at the end of this and a sense of renewal um comes after the tower card in the major arcana so it can sometimes represent coming after some massive change or change in the relationship or having gone through some kind of challenging time this is a sense of renewal and hope faith reasons to be optimistic here i feel that this is an energy here of you're going within and you're soul searching in terms of whether you have faith that this can be healed right now and obviously free will the decision is yours we have the lover's energy this is in terms of love romance relationships the lovers is a card of Gemini. The energy of somebody, of two people at a crossroads, needing to make some kind of significant major choice about the relationship in terms of how you move forward. Again, the magician is the energy of what do we want to manifest? We need to choose how we move forward here. What do we want to do? Because the magician asks you, Pisces, you have the power to create the reality that you want. That's what the magician says. That's what the magician card is all about. You have all the resources available to you to turn a situation around, um, to create a new reality for yourself. So we have earth, air, fire and water, you know, rotating around the magician here, symbolizing that he has full, full command of all the elements of the universe to create the reality that he wants. So there is an energy here with the powers with you. You have an opportunity to turn this relationship around. Or you have an opportunity to manifest a brand new path for yourself. But again, there's a definite energy of choose wisely, certainly with the four of cups. Uh, because again, sometimes it can signal missed opportunities. And with judgment there, there is a kind of strong indication to really consider this. We have, and that's why I think temperance is here, because it's a card of patience, all things in moderation. It is a card of being very moderate and slow to come to some kind of balance here on how you bring balance back to the situation in terms of how you move forward and find that way through. And I'm feeling in this energy, the Eight of Swords is, I don't know how to move forward. You know, someone's stuck in their own head, they're overthinking. The advice from spirit that I'm getting here is be everything in moderation, be very slow um, and steady here. 
Uh, this can be an energy also of reconciliation, of can we make this work? Can we meet in the middle? Can we both compromise, give a little bit, give ground on both sides and find a way through this to make it work? So again, for some of you, I think that's 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 a big energy that's on offer here. Though again, it really depends on what you really want to manifest now. We have the Knight of Swords, a conversation, communications. This feels like a big heart to heart conversation in terms of how you move forward. Because I feel that this is this is somebody who is really thinking a lot right now. Um, the Eight of Swords can be overthinking, uh, but it can be to do with issues where they don't know how to move forward. You know, they don't have the clarity to move forward. They know that there are multiple paths forward here, but this is the energy of I don't really know how to move forward. I mean, these energies are, are certainly indicating talking, talking between the two of you to understand how you move forward. Uh, because it's with communication, you understand how this story unfolds, how this narrative will unfold, and it brings clarity. This brings clarity and direction. And sometimes this conversation isn't an easy conversation to have. Um, but nevertheless, what the Knight of Swords does bring is forward movement and direction where somebody's stuck right now. So I feel I feel the energy is there's a need to talk and come slowly to some kind of decision. And this energy of as long as you give it the consideration it needs, then you'll come to the right decision accordingly. I feel some kind of communication here will bring you the clarity that you need. And that's what I have for you. So let me pull a final card. Final message for Pisces. Final message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's give it another shuffle. Final message for Pisces. Thank you. We have Tiger, Divine Timing. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah, I mean, the universe is certainly saying, take your time on this. And it might well be communication is key. I'm going to pull one more card. We have Panther Protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. That's what I have for you, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it useful, helpful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.